Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure maximum number of concurrent connections in SQL Server. What it means is that uh, how many users, sessions, um, or um, connections in SQL Server can stay um, and stay connected in SQL Server. And it depends on your configuration. You can configure that, uh, you can configure SQL Server that how many connection at a time SQL Server uh, can have. So in this video, we'll be learning using SQL Server Management Studio. We'll be um, configuring that and using T-SQL script. We will also configuring that using T-SQL script and uh, how to configure SQL Server advanced option uh, because you this is SQL Server configuration. So uh, when Whenever you play with SQL Server configuration, you need to basically enable that advanced option and then um, change the configuration. And once you change the configuration, you need to basically um, uh, commit that advanced option in order to take effect. So what is maximum number of concurrent connection? Um, let me do it right here. Maximum number of concurrent connection SQL Server allows uh, by default uh, it is 32,767. That many connection SQL Server by default can handle. However, this is a dynamic. Uh, SQL Server can adjust to all those connections. If there are 10 users connected to SQL Server, it is only going to open uh, ten, um, and uh, allocate the space for 10 uh, sessions or 10 users. And um, as it expands, if more users uh, come along, SQL Server will adjust itself. And uh, number five, what does it take once you change the maximum number of concurrent connection in SQL Server, then uh, what it requires to take effect? And I can uh, answer right here, this one, uh, the five, that you need to restart SQL services in order to take, if you change, if you configure maximum number of concurrent connection in SQL Server, then you need to uh, basically restart the SQL Server's uh, services in in order to take that effect. So let's go ahead and uh, start um, um, configuring using SQL Server Management Studio and then we'll go to T-SQL. Here's my um, SQL Server. Uh, in order to look at um, where the concurrent connections are, you need to basically right click on your SQL Server instance and go to the properties. As soon as you open that, the window will open and you need to click on connections and uh, right here it would say maximum number of concurrent connection and as you can see that zero is unlimited so if you wanted to limit your connection that uh, my SQL server will not handle more than 200 connection then you need to provide here 200 and once you do that that's all basically you need to do you need to click OK and right click and restart the services so we're gonna go ahead and restart the services All right, SQL services restarted, so we're going to go ahead and refresh that and now go back to the connections and as you can see, uh, there are 200 connections. Keep in mind that I would not recommend you to change this setting. This is a, a very, uh, sometimes it can be very dangerous uh, if you put it right here, 10 connection, because uh, um, if your SQL Server is busy, I can bet you that uh, it's going to have more than 10 connection and nobody else can uh, 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 connect to SQL Server unless uh, uh, one connection out of 10 is killed and uh, then you can go ahead and connect to SQL Server. So basically uh, it is not something to play with but however if you, uh, there are scenarios if you wanted to limit the connections to your SQL Server I'm just showing you in this video how to do that. So uh, let's go ahead and fire up our um, uh, script right here using T-SQL we'll be using the same thing So here is our uh, T-SQL script. As you can see that a show advanced option needs to be enabled in order to uh, basically uh, change any configuration in SQL Server from user side. So we're, we'll be using SP underscore config and show advanced option and enabling it by one and reconfigure with override. That means this will take impact uh, um, in configuration. So we're going to go ahead and up here the same thing that uh, uh, user connections you need to limit it right here. Uh, you need to provide whatever the limit you you have uh, um, um, 200 300 400 however you wanted to limit your SQL server but if you wanted to go ahead and reconfigure this to 
zero right here you can go ahead and uh, this once you put zero right here that will reset your uh, uh, connection and zero as we saw in the beginning is uh, for unlimited connection and we say unlimited as I said up here in this video unlimited connection means it can handle 32,767 connections um, concurrent connection in SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and run this script and we're resetting it back so let's go ahead and execute that as you can see right here and it will only take effect once we will go ahead and restart the services so let's go ahead and restart the services one more time and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look after that if our configuration has changed keep in mind anytime you wanted to change this setting um, plan the downtime because the services are going down so all application connecting to your SQL server will be down for a while so we're gonna go ahead and refresh let's take a look connections and is set back to zero that means the up here 32,767 uh, connection can be uh, concurrent in SQL Server. I hope this video helps.